guys, welcome back to another episode of Denise Friends Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite marinades for chicken. I'm going to show you how to make my yogurt marinated chicken. It is absolutely delicious and tender because if you don't already know this, yogurt is a fantastic meat tenderizer. I like to use it on chicken breast, which tends to be a little bit dry if you overcook it, but the yogurt keeps it so nice and moist and juicy. And I love how it holds on to the seasonings and keeps it onto the meat. Now I'm using uh, boneless, skinless chicken, but you can use this on any cut of chicken that you want drumsticks, chicken thighs, or even chicken pieces. It's delicious, it's easy to do, and it's a great marinade. Let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. We're gonna need some olive oil, dried oregano, some paprika, black pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, salt, garlic cloves, ground cumin powder, yogurt. I'm This is whole milk plain yogurt, lemons, chicken breast that I'm using, but you can use chicken tenders or thigh meat. So we're gonna begin by making the marinade. I love to use plain, unflavored, make sure you don't get vanilla, that has happened to me before, and it does not work in this, in this recipe, especially because it is sweetened. I like to use plain, unflavored yogurt. Greek yogurt is a little bit too thick for this, but if that's all you have, that's totally fine. You could thin it out with a little bit of water to get it to the consistency of plain yogurt. We're gonna add the yogurt to the bowl, to a big mixing bowl. Then I'm gonna grate these three garlic cloves in here. I'm gonna add a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes for heat, two teaspoons of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, a teaspoon of sweet paprika. This is not smoked paprika. Smoked paprika is gonna give it a smoky taste and that's not the flavor that I'm going for in this recipe. But if you like that smoky flavor, then be my guest and use the smoked paprika. Then I'm gonna add a heaping tablespoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of cumin powder for that earthy goodness, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and that's the juice of two small lemons usually. And then I'm gonna whisk this all together until it's combined. And just like that, the marinade is ready. So I have chicken boneless breasts today, so I'm gonna slice them into strips. Make sure that you slice them as equally as possible so, that, so they, can take, they can all take the same amount of time to cook when you're gonna go ahead and cook these. If you're using chicken tenders, and you can totally skip this step, once the chicken is sliced, you're gonna go ahead and immerse it into that delicious yogurt marinade toss it all around so that way all of the chicken is coated, cover it with plastic wrap, and at this point, you want to refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. 30 minutes is the minimum that this chicken is gonna to need to marinate. You can marinate this for 30 minutes up to eight hours. So you can do this the night before and then just take it out in the daytime and let it come to room temperature. Right before you're about to cook this, you do want the meat to come to room temperature because you never wanna put cold meat in the oven or on a grill or anything like that. And that takes us to how we're gonna cook this. You can definitely barbecue this on the grill. You can cook it on the stove top like I'm gonna do. And you can even bake this in the oven. All of those steps are going to be in the written recipe that's gonna be on the blog. Today I'm gonna to be using a cast iron skillet. That is my favorite pan to cook this in, but you can definitely use a nonstick skillet if that's what you have. Just make sure that you heat it over medium high heat. Put a little bit of olive oil in there, about two to three tablespoons. Then go ahead and put the strips in your, in your hot pan and then cook the chicken strips about five minutes on each side. Once the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit, then the chicken strips are ready. You can go ahead and transfer them onto a plate. Make sure that you do not mess with the chicken while it's cooking. Do not try to flip it over at the two or three minute mark because then all of that marinade is gonna fall off because yogurt does like to stick. So leave it alone, after five minutes, flip it over. And if it still needs a little bit more cooking, cook it on the other sides as well. Once the chicken is nice and cooked and 165 degrees Fahrenheit, as we said, take it out of the, out of the pan and put it onto a plate. Just like that, the chicken is cooked and it's ready. It smells absolutely incredible in this house. It looks beautiful too. So I like to serve this with some tzatziki sauce, some slices of tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and of course some feta cheese. You could throw some olives in there too. You can warm up some pita bread and put some tzatziki on the pita bread, some of your favorite vegetables on there, and then slice up the chicken and put it in there and you'll have such a delicious chicken gyro pita. If you're keeping things low carb, it is January and all of us are trying to undo the damage that we did during the holiday season. Me too, I feel you guys. 
This is so delicious, you, you will not be missing out if you make a nice Greek salad or a nice cabbage salad and put these chicken strips on top. Squeeze some lemon juice over them, dip them in tzatziki sauce and eat your heart out. You're gonna have a delicious meal, but it also does taste good over couscous or pasta or Mediterranean rice. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Mmm, chicken breast tends to be very dry, but this is moist and tender and the yogurt just held on to those seasonings and it just tastes absolutely incredible. This is gonna be your go-to marinade. Go on over to the website, www.denitrasdishes.com. You can literally make this tonight, you guys, so what are you waiting for? Get the recipe, print it out, make it, and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you all next time. Yes, us.